<laughs> Whoa, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, okay, okay. You messed up now. You know what word I want to use, but I can't. Oh, you done messed up now. You done messed up, you done messed up, you done messed up. Now you might. Um, let me say something and let me make it loud and clear. You done messed up. <laughs> Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. Like I said, ain't nothing more crazier than this. Nothing. Nathan is more crazier than um, what I just witnessed. Now, I know... You know, I, I got a problem with um, black men saying, you know, that they that they voting for Donald Trump. Not in so much as that they leave in the Democratic plantation. That one I understand. I can't look. I, the Democrats did that to themselves, right? I'm not standing here a light bearer. But for me, it's any ideas that I may have. What party do I think could push it forward? Which party do I think would be willing to push it forward if I stay like a stick on it? You know what? Now, if I don't stay like a stick on it, I ain't finna do nothing. Just like nobody else. So... For me, my logic is, I want to make sure I'm perfectly clear, okay? Because what I just heard from uh, Barack Obama, I'm totally, totally, totally done, okay? What, like I said, for me, it's a matter of who do I think can necessarily uh look out for my our best interest as black people adolf who and I, I believe that that will be more likely to come through in the democratic party only if you know how important it is for to start grassroots organizing that's why i said you know we just been voting and that's it we just vote. We don't follow through. We don't stay on um, the politicians. This has been my um, experience. And for all the rest of y'all, y'all can't listen. I don't went to jail trying to organize people to vote. So I ain't y'all ain't nothing you gonna tell me about this one, okay? Because far as I'm concerned, my heart is fixed with this right here. It is the Democrats' party fault that black brothers, I mean, the brothers don't want to be messing with y'all, okay? Um, they got, as, as somebody would say, no, they, they got, we got every bit of reason why not to. And I will say more black men than, in, than anybody, Okay? They are being shot down at a much more higher rate. They are being disrespected by everybody, just like black women. Like I said, we got um, some work to do internally. But here's the deal. How dare you? Oh, no, you didn't. No, you didn't come out, Barack Hussein, Obama. And begin to lecture black men about not wanting to vote for Kamala Harris. 
that you didn't you didn't fucked up now. You you really have because you should have done that. That is totally off base, and what you probably should have did, in my opinion, was 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 come with a not so hateful. I'm a point at you, uh, finger at you, and think you need a lecture when you always been called out to lecture black men. You don't say shit when you see them being shot down. You don't say nothing. I don't see you. Ain't nothing. Crickets. Okay? Same thing with black women. However, we got our reasons. And 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 to me, it's, it's a little bit more um, nuanced than that. But for you to get up here as Barack Obama and lecture black men about why they should... Now... I admit there's some misogyny in there. I'm sure it is. But most black men vote like they black woman. Okay? Uh, There's something that they have in common. And just like it was brought to my attention that, what was it? 88 or 66% of black men voted for Hillary Clinton. No, 88% of black men voted for Hillary Clinton. Now, listen to that. Even, you know, I mean, with that being said, it, now it's down to, what, 61% or something to that effect? But at the end of the day, people, the Democratic Party lost those uh, votes on their own, that blind loyalty and support that you had for such a long time and you so out of touch with reality you don't see it you're out of touch you're out of time you see what i mean you you not even feeling that part of the conversation they with you and now you gonna get up there and and lecture them when you haven't come out and said not one word when they being shot down like dogs in the street, you haven't made not one comment. This qualified immunity. You, you haven't said anything about the Tim Scotts and the uh not you know how they killed the bill. You the guy that we had all our hope in. I know I thought there would be more changes for black folks when you got into office not that we could put the whole burden of, of, of the world on your shoulder knowing that your phenotype is different you ain't Adolf your phenotype was different but at the end of the day we thought we could get something out of you because you look like us and Lord have mercy you was the worst black people did worse under you I mean, even in terms of, you know, business and how I think Bush has something like 8% of the money for small businesses and black, uh, small black, you went all the way down to four or three or something. No, I don't have the stats in front of me right now. Look it up. I know, I know I'm telling you who had the most. At the end of the day, Barack and the Democratic Party, if y'all want to win, please don't send that boy out here no more to do further damage to what you've accomplished if you really want to see Kamala Harris president. It don't serve no purpose for me to vote a crazy man a man that is clearly mentally ill, and anybody that got any com- common sense know that. So I can't, uh, you know, I can't even deal with anybody that don't recognize that. They need help, okay? So if you want to put the codes in the hands of somebody who's clearly mentally ill, who's clearly, forget about uh, if he a Republican, just that alone, let me know, further know, your ass don't need no codes. You don't need the codes to blow up shit. You are crazy. 
Now, they don't sound nice and, and none of that, but it is what it is. He don't need no coals to do nothing. Okay? That's number one. Now, you already told me you don't love. You, don't, you ain't got no love for me. So, and then again, I know black people have pain bodies. We're addicted to pain. We're addicted to no good relationships. We're addicted to people beating us. We're addicted to being uh, uh, graped. We're addicted to all that. It's part of our uh, cellular um, uh, uh, memory that has been done to us. So the standard ain't, it's a shame that comes along with that. That make us keep our head down even though we want to hold it up high. Because there's no way in the world you would cut off your nose and spite your face. That only comes from your comfort level with pain. Okay, somebody can talk about you, take a full page ad on you, uh, can tell you, talk about I'm grabbing women by the... And even if you did think that, even if you did think some of those women, it's their fault for being up in there uh, with him. What if he liked your daughter? All of you fathers, what if he liked your daughter? And then he grabbed her by the, okay, because she was in proximity of him. Would you like that? Would you be saying your daughter is a hoe? Uh-uh. Come on now. So the fact that you... Somebody that's telling you, I'm gonna, I, I, I'm gonna get revenge on anybody that voted for me. I'm never leaving office. Uh, once I get in, um, uh, I'm gonna continue with stop and frisk. Matter of fact, I'm gonna start it up. I love it, and it'll be federal. I mean, everything about him is dismantling things that my ancestors. My great grandmamas, my uh, lineage has worked for as Ados. He gonna dismantle all that. He doing it now. So if that's not enough, um, like I said, for you to not say I'm gonna vote for him, you want to vote for him. Then that means you just doing it because you either stupid. In my opinion, I'm sorry to say that, but I got to call it like I see it. You have self-hatred, extreme amount of self-hatred, or you hiding behind the Republican Party so you can get yours. And if it comes to the end where they start to pick off people that didn't vote for them, you, you, you're, a, you're a coward. You're like, well, uh, I'm, yes, I'm Massa. <laughs> I vote for you, Massa. Because that is the only reason. I know you don't think you're going to get anything passed through that party. Because you ain't. You got black men like, uh, 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 what's his name, Byron Donald. Uh, you know, and the man in South Carolina. Uh, Tim Scott. These, these are not normal black men, in my opinion. That say such hideous things. One of them say we did better under Jim Crow. Well, let me, I'm more qualified to probably speak to that than they asses. Hell, I was that. I was the, um. Okay, we ain't gonna even go. I don't gotta go through all that. At the end of the day, what I'm saying is Barack was wrong for that, and. He going to pay for that. Because nobody's trying to hear that. And uh, y'all going to have to think of a di different strategy because that one was not cool. It was not cool at all. And uh, brothers don't need you to lecture them. They know perfectly well who they are. The majority of them. Okay? Now, you don't got to agree with me. And if you don't, I want to hear your opinion let me know what you think. Leave your comment below. Especially if you're a dude, I would really like to hear it. If you're a black male, I would really, really love to hear your response to this. All right. If you like what you hear, subscribe and share my channel. And I will see you in the next video.